we just wanted to say thank you, first of all, for uh, the sponsors, everybody coming and supporting this trip. This is obviously the first one we've done. We plan for this to be the first of many. We're excited to kind of see this grow and we're very excited to have such a good group of guys here. I mean, most of us have been friends for a while. We'll pick these up for us and they had some nice elevated experience 2022 patches made for those. So uh, every vehicle that came as a sponsor or a participant will get one of those. Oracle was nice enough to send all these chasers and cups. Infinite off-road, everyone gets a little swag bag right here. It's just got some magnetic koozies, stickers, things he has around and some sackets there for trash. If anybody wants one, you can grab one. And we have your shirt sizes. We'll actually start handing those out right now and uh, we'll get going. Welcome to the 2022 Elevate Experience. We are set for a five day, 600 mile excursion through the beautiful backcountry of Colorado. We will be starting our adventure in Moab, Utah and making our way into Colorado. We have a special thank you to BFG and the OnTrail app for navigating us on this journey. We're in down this morning at about 25 PSI just to make it a little bit smoother on these bumpy gravel roads. For this, I think if you're rock crawling in that gear down so you get a lot more traction, a lot more wrap around a rock to the tire. But for these roads like this with the washboards in it, it helps a little bit, just kind of helps it make it a little bit easier to ride as well. Elevated 2022 experience has been just a blast. I mean, we're only four hours into our first day. Great group of guys. The route that we're taking from Moab uh, into Montrose and then up into the Array Mountains, the San Juan Mountains, that's home for me. So I, I love that area. I'm a little bit more passionate about it probably than a lot of other places. But the experience itself, it's so difficult to put a mixture of people, industry related, non-industry related, people that just want to enjoy themselves and get everybody to get along together. That's, that takes a, a lot of work, actually. We and, lost uh, power. We have light. We can't turn our engine on. So normally that's ground. Yeah, yeah it's like tight, that. so keep an eye on it. It just shut off. Really? Driving, not even nope. Shut off. No I lost power. steering. Are we good to roll? We are rolling. Where we're at is a ridge called Carpenter Ridge. Historically, a lot of the uranium miners scouted this ridge looking for, for uranium. 1875, Paradox had some settlers that lived down here in the valley. This ridge that we're on now is pretty steep, it's pretty narrow, but the views of the valley from up here are just amazing. And this is part of the formal Rim Rocker Trail. Uranium from this valley was part of the Manhattan Project, but it was short-lived. Uh, the, the whole town became a super fun site. The government basically did a lot of uh, reclamation, got rid of some of the tailings, and they buried it. Corey did a great job of like telling us all of history. I don't know where he gets all this information. He's either making it up or he's answering it really well because we haven't stumped him yet. So I think experiences like this are necessary for people. We saw that in 2020 when people were stuck at home and all of a sudden it was like they, they had to get out and they had to be somewhere and be able to get out here and just connect with nature you know, camp beside a river. I mean, this is just amazing. To the newbie that has been watching the rest of us, they keep thinking about it and they're thinking, oh, well, I've got to have this, I've got to have that. You know, you don't have to have some big monster rig like this or even, you know, the well-built Jeeps or anything like that. It's just about just getting out and, you know, start off small. Don't, don't keep putting it off just because, you know, 
you think you need all of this, at least get you a set of all-terrains or KO2s. A good set of shoes is like a good pair of hiking boots. You don't have to have the fanciest backpack, the fanciest stove, all that stuff. But one thing you want to do is make sure that you take care of your feet when you're out there. And it's kind of the same way with tires. But all the rest of the stuff, you can just add it just a little bit at a time. I mean, all of my camping gear, it's it's been stuff that I've accrued over many, many years. The Tigre. Yes, yeah, gonna keep it there. Yeah. If not, I will. Not I will. I put off a lot of body heat. I think the best part about this tent, so much room for activities. Bye, y'all. <laughs>
did have an alternate route that we have to take pop up because Imogene Pass did get some snow. It's not passable. We just decided to take the alternate route, alternative route, because we want to keep everybody safe. We don't want to chance it. It is a dangerous pass. In a trip like this, you always have to be fluid and be able to change your plan and maybe always look for an alternative route that you need to designate if your route via plan is not passable for whatever reason. Also, if you get into town like Oray, it is best to talk to locals and, and some of the Swiss America clubs and say, hey, have any of you guys been up there? Have you passed through there in the last few days? And a lot of them will be, you know, they'll say, yes, we have, and it's not passable, or they'll give you the go and continue on with your original route that you have planned. This is probably one of my favorite views of all the places I've ever been. We're just outside of Uray, Colorado. This is called the Million Dollar Highway. Just at the top at the Overlook, there's a big waterfall right over the top here. And uh, basically this is called the Swiss Alps of the Americas. It's pretty amazing. The thing I love about doing this with a group is there's always somebody in the group that's never been here. And when you have that, you just see it again for the first time through their lens. And it really is cool because for us that have been here a couple of times before, um, you know, it, it, it still amazes me every time I see it. But then to see somebody that's never seen it before, it's just so awesome. It's like, uh, it's like showing your kids something on Christmas morning. Sometimes we're more interested in getting to our destination and really what we're missing out on is the journey. And it's finding little stops like this, little pull off. Take the time, stop, look. Don't just jump out, take a picture and jump back in the truck, but actually sit and enjoy it for a few minutes and just absorb nature. We're going to continue working our way up towards the top of Hurricane Pass. We're at about 11,600 feet. We've still got about 1,000 feet to go. What's been awesome about having Corey on this Elevate experience is the knowledge he has. We've been driving through these remote areas and he'll come on the walkie talkie while guiding us and give us a history lesson of this whole area or the small ghost town that we're in. It's really awesome to preserve these buildings and learn the history around them and to pass on the stories to our kids and their kids for generations to come. Kind of a very informal but experience that we planned for tonight was a, uh, call it a spirit tasting. And this is a tribute to my wife because my wife and I met when we both worked at the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So while we were working there, this product came out. I don't know if you've had it or not. This is the Jack Daniels Winter Jack uh, Tennessee Cider. This is a great mixer in a lot of different things, but even drinking straight is uh, very simple to drink, very easy, very smooth.
It is very important when you're going on trails like this where they're very tight and narrow and you have a bigger rig, it is important to have a spotter with you to spot you through the tight spots. And it's an important thing that that spotter knows what they're doing to get you through these trails, otherwise you can have a bad mistake fast. Woo! She got a big booty. A booty bounces. I mean, for full-size trucks, it's crazy. I mean, there's way worse stuff than this, but that little uh, yeah, that boulder coming across the trail, that's what it gets in an interesting technical situation when you're dealing with such long wheelbases, minimal lift, large tires, trying to navigate through steep, slopey terrain. That was freaking nuts, man. We it's a tight trail, dude. I mean, this, this trail is designed for horse and buggy. Oh, really? It's like, yeah, I mean, you're like a yeah. wheelie's flat fender. It is not designed for a full width, full size truck. Picking four full size rigs is going to feel fast. It's, I mean, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's so perfect. close. There's a shale rock on the side here. So as the weight of the vehicle is pushing down, once that shelf just starts to break loose, which goes right down to that river. There's, right nothing, there's no tree, there's nothing that would stop any of these vehicles. Going. Dude, within just, if it wasn't like a little good wide tire, right, and these things sit on the right suspension, we'd be in a way, a way worse situation. Yeah, the yeah. sign at the top of this, it's skilled four wheel drive, like drivers, yes. skilled drivers, uh, and right it. For the last week, I've been on Elevated Experience. We started in Moab, and here we are ending up uh, a week later in Colorado, and it's just been an amazing, amazing adventure and an amazing journey. To be able to get out here and have uh, this many days and nights, creating memories, creating all of the experiences that we have, you know, times where we've all had to help each other, setting up camp, eating dinners together, sitting around the campfires. We just finished the last day of the Elevated Experience 2022, and what a great trip. I, I mean, it's just been epic. Five days of being out in the wilderness, being in some scenic, super, super scenic areas. Uh, Will, Chambliss, Travis put an amazing event together with such a fantastic group of people. It's very rare we get the opportunity to take five days and do anything, all the way from Utah to into Colorado. I mean, and we had fall colors, we had some, some animals. To be able to come over and, and guide people through some of this terrain, every time you come around the corner, it's that smile, that wow, that look at that. It's, it's all of that, um, I don't know, that, that amazement of being somewhere where you haven't been. You got to share something with somebody. And that's really, really important, especially what we all do. This We're all a big family. So being able to spend five days with everyone, man, this is just awesome.